What's up and welcome back to Adventures with Hobbs. On today's episode, we are going to be using none other than the most versatile bait that you can buy. Rooster tail. Everybody, everybody has thrown a rooster tail at one point in their time. You catch brim, crappie, bass. I mean, you can pretty much catch anything with just a rooster tail. It is still cold weather. Probably not the best idea of, the vi of a video, but we're gonna give it a shot. Yeah. Now, the rooster tail has been around for a long time. And if you are just getting started into fishing, you got a little pond, they're great for creeks. Um, get you a little lightweight pole you don't have to go if you're fishing a little small creeks you don't have to go real heavy on the line um, but they're so like you can catch pretty much any fish that bites any bait um, they just all you do simple you just throw it and start reeling it in now again, will I catch a fish? I don't know. There at the bank. <laughs> right at the bank. Yeah. <laughs> Hold on, buddy. Hold on, I get you. Little dinger, but hey. It's a fish. Thank you, buddy, for playing. Hey, told you. The most versatile bait that there is. Check out fishgear.com. Use code Hobbs10. Save 10%. And these rooster tails came from Timu. I just, I just wanted to see what the difference of the styles of rooster tails that they had versus, you know, the ones that we get. And lo and behold, we caught a fish with it. But uh, yeah, rooster tails. You can go to creeks. You can catch trout. You can catch. You can catch any fish that. If there's a fish in that water, it can be caught with a rooster tail. Oh, there, there he goes. I saw him hit it. That's a good one. He coming out of that grass. Oh yeah, that's a good fish right there. Look at that. I watched him come out of the grass and hit it. Hold on, buddy. Hold on. Don't get the hook in me. Good job. Look at that. I saw, I watched him come out of the grass. Good fish. Thank you, buddy, for playing. I wanted to come out here and do a little bit of fishing. Try to give y'all new fishermen, you know, if you're young and watching this and you want to go out and you want to catch fish, but you don't have the money to spend on a bunch of poles and lures and line you can just go oh, just just gotta buy you can go get you just get your old cheap rod and, oh um you can go get you just you don't have to have no fancy rod let's go get you a rod that has some line on it if you don't have line on it put you about 10 12 pound test line on it get you some rooster tails and then go out to a pond or a creek or a lake, you just throw around. If, you, if it's a lake, there's brim around, guess what? You're going to be tearing brim up. Uh, oh, there you go. There's another one. Oh, he let go. Thank y'all so much for subscribing and sharing the videos, uh, liking them, commenting, you know. What means the world to me for sure. So I just want to say thank y'all. And if y'all have used a rooster tail, let me know. Let me know uh, that you have used them, what you've caught. Tell me what y'all think about them. I think, oh, I don't know what happened with that cast. Um, they are, like I said, they're very versatile. You can use them pretty much any color body of water, any size body of water. Uh, 
catch pretty much any fish that's in that body of water. You don't have to worry about changing nothing. You just throw it out there, let it hit the water, and then start reeling it. Pretty much, like I said, as soon as it hits the water, you just start reeling it. You don't have to reel it very fast. Oh, there we go. Oh, that's a good one. Oh, that's a good one. Oh, stay on. Yeah, look at there. He chunked it. Bring need on those pliers. When you're fishing anything with treble hooks, because um, you're gonna need it. But he gulped that jerker. The water's cold, fish are cold. That's bass number three. Throwing in the same spot pretty much, just going like a foot away from where the last cast went. And then I go throw a foot. Oh, oh, I had to bite out right as soon as it landed. Oh, there we go. There's bass number four. Don't get out of the grass. There we go. Bass number four. On the rooster tail. Right on top of the mouth. I don't know how he got hooked. He, he was hooked. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to show y'all something. He was hooked in his mouth like that. I don't know how that happened. But anyway. Bass number four. Thank you so much, buddy, for playing. Today's words of wisdom. Uh, I haven't done a words of wisdom in a while on the channel. But today's words of wisdom is uh, I, I have to go back to the, to the forgiveness. Because I feel like in this world, this day of time, that's what we need the most is forgiveness. Think about it this way probably thinking how am I supposed to forgive this person after they have done this to me and hurt me and you know put me through so much pain and misery well God sent his son to die on the cross for our sins all that pain and suffering that Jesus went through on the cross now if Jesus can forgive us for what we do then we should forgive our our enemies for what they've done now forgiveness is not saying that it's okay oh forgiveness is not saying that it's okay to do what they've done forgiveness is just letting no letting letting go they have no control over you no more forgiveness is for you not for them if jesus can forgive us on a daily then we should be able to forgive too as well. So here's your little words of wisdom today. Forgiveness. If you got somebody that you've had issues with in the past, don't, don't hate on them no more. Forgive them. We caught four fish and uh, I'm happy. But the comments that you drop, that helps YouTube push my videos out. And then... Uh, the more you comment, the more you like, the more you act with me. Oh, there we go. Oh, I snatched him right out of his mouth. <laughs> I snatched him out of the water. There's number five. Again, there's no size to them, but they're fun. Oh, hold on, buddy. Hold on, buddy. He, he's super cold. Bass number five. There we go. Yeah, little bitty thing. They're pretty, man. I love bass. Mm, I love fishing. I love being outdoors. Thank you, buddy, for playing. It's hard to quit casting when you're catching. You know what I mean? All right, we're going to wrap this video up. I didn't have a whole lot of time. I wasn't out here very long, about 30, 40, about 30 minutes. I had one pole, one bait, one battery on the GoPro. Anybody that runs GoPros knows that you got about an hour. 10 minutes on a, on a battery, maybe. I still got like 60%, so we wasn't out here long. Again, it's, it's windy, it's cold. I just wanted to do a quick video on a rooster tail. I've always wanted to do it. They are fun baits. They are a very 
very aggressive baits. They are good to catch any fish. Again, if you want to go catch this cheap budget, hardly no money, hey, don't frown. Go to Walmart, pick you up some uh, rooster tails. Just throw them out in the creek, a ditch. It doesn't matter. If there's a fish there, they'll bite it. Thank y'all so much for hanging out. I appreciate everything y'all do. This channel has blew my mind. I just started it in March of last year and we were 100 subscribers. It took forever to get to five. Now we're on the road to 5K. So thank y'all so much. Let me know if you've ever used a rooster tail. What you call it using a rooster tail? If you haven't used a rooster tail, comment that you're going to Walmart right now to get one. Don't forget to check out fishgear.com. Use code HOB10. Save 10%. Thank y'all so much. We'll see you on the next adventure.